I told her I'm still working, who's thinking about putting in some irrigation, but she's got 96 foot long rows. I only have 33 foot long rows. I'd read somewhere where you couldn't really run this more than about 50 feet. So she was going to buy a sample of this stuff. They make a little starter kit that you can do uh, one or 200 feet with. And I said, well, why don't I just hook three of mine together, which will be over 96 feet. Should be about 99. And we'll see what it does. Now you can see the valves on. Now this hose, green hose, is over 100 feet long. And then this garden hose is at least 25 feet long or 30 feet long. And you can see where it's coming off of the hose. And that's about 120, 30 feet from the faucet. And it's sprinkling out of those em emitters. And that's what's coming at the end of this 100 foot. And it took a long time to get there. Now I'm going to put a cap back on this and turn it back on. But that's not a lot of water pressure. Now I have put a cap on this line and that water's coming out a little bit stronger than it was and these are the drippers at a hundred feet and there's nothing coming out of them and see if you follow this line you can see it dripping see it spraying you can hear it that might be part of my problem. One of the emitters has come out. Let me pop one in there. I'm losing a lot of pressure there. Well, I put the emitter in the hole where it came out of. There's a little more water pressure. So now we'll check the line. Now you can see it. You can see at 100 feet there's nothing coming out of those drippers. There's a little bit of water coming out of those drippers, but that won't keep your stuff alive. And that's 33 feet. So I'm going to cap that off right there and see what it'll do. Whoops, I got another one missing. And I put the emitter back in. I want to try to say amateur sometimes, so if I do, don't get too upset. But it's emitter. And see, I've got good flow here, and that's uh, 30 feet, and it's flowing here. You can see the grass is wet, and it's sprinkling all the way around here to 60 feet. It's dribbling a little bit right there, but you'd have to leave it on a long time. And there's some water on the ground here where the drippers are. Of course, the well could be at the 40 pound cycle on the 60. That's got a little teeny piece of trash, but see, there's not much coming out. I'm going to take 30 feet off and see what it does with just 60 feet. You're getting pretty good spray there. And that's about 25 feet. And you can see the spray past that. You can see the spray over here at about 40 feet, 45, 50. About 50 feet, it, it's, it quits spraying. This is dripping, and, uh, but if you did it at 60 feet to get the last 10 feet wet, you'd have to soak the first 50. So I would say this stuff wouldn't be good for more than about 50 feet working on well pressure. And we might, there's three cottages down there using water, so we could be at the uh, 40 pound setting, but the pump usually gets pump back up pretty quick. I would say 50 feet is about the max you could put on these little 3 8 inch strip lines and these are spaced every 6 inches. Every 6 to 8 inches. I'm going to cut it off because it's soaking my grass up here. 